Hi, and welcome back for another Tool Time Tuesday. I'm Melissa Muir. As you use your rolling mill, eventually you will need to adjust your rollers, just as a fact of life. So I'm going to show you today how you can use different feeler gauges that are used in the automobile industry to reset and regauge your rollers so that you have them perfectly even. Now there are times that maybe you will even want to offset your rollers, say if you are trying to get a nice curve in a piece of metal by rolling it through the mill. This would be an, inset, an instance where you would want to perhaps offset your rollers, but that is for a different video entirely. So today I'm going to show you really quickly how to adjust your rollers. Did you know that with Durston rolling mills, they come so that the handle here will be attached. Now, you may not know that it's meant to be able to be lifted out like so something that was new to me. What there is for shipping purposes only is here along the base of the stem is a snap ring which will hold this into place. You will need a pair of snap ring pliers which will kind of open that up and pop out your pin. So using your snap ring pliers simply place them into the hole up above or the holes rather on either side Give your snap ring pliers a squeeze, it will open them up, pop your pin out, and you are now ready to go with your rolling mill. The rollers can be adjusted, they can be offset, whatever you decide. You may want to keep a hold of that snap ring. It will be very handy if you ever need to move your mill again to help kind of stabilize things. So here, in my case, I have taped it to the bottom of my mill, out of the way, but now I will always know where to find it. The snap ring pliers can be purchased at a number of hardware stores. They come with various tips, and so you will just need to figure out which tips are the best for yours. You can see here we've used the tips that come up at about a 90 degree angle so that we can get a hold of this snap pin that is on the top of my mill. I just went to the automotive store and purchased some very, very inexpensive feeler gauges. And you can see that they have the different markings on them as far as what their thickness is and that does correspond to kind of the thickness of each of the gauges and so I can easily pick one on each one of these and then insert it into the mill to adjust everything. Once the snap ring has been removed you can then lift up and remove your handle. Now it's important that you start with your roller slightly apart at this point just because it's a little easier to get your, your gears here to move. So I'm going to lift out my handle, put it off to the side. I've selected the same measurement for my feeler gauges. Doesn't matter what you pick as long as they are the same. I'm going to come in and use this outside ridge on my wire rollers because the outside is still flat. So I'm going to use that as my point for inserting my feeler gauge, just tighten down the gear for that. You don't need to make it too tight, just enough that you know that you're kind of kissing the feeler gauge. Do the same thing over here on my roller. Come down, just enough. Then I'm going to take my handle, place it back into the roller, and then I will crank back to release my feeler gauges, and at this point, my rollers should be perfectly parallel at this point.